All right, well, I've got a post-fish update here. Um, done a few more things with my system. Um, see if we can catch the fish a little. Here, they've gotten from, gone from about uh, three quarters of an inch to about two and a half inches now, so uh, in about a month, so they're growing pretty good. Still about 50 of them in there. And they run away there, okay. Um, got the automatic fish feeder going here. Uh, running about five times a day, and that helps a lot because I'm off at work and I can't feed them all the time. Um, I got a two output uh, air pump here with two air stones now. I think I needed a little more aeration in there. And um, my uh, grow bed is uh, going crazy here. Um, not having any problems at all keeping up with the uh, nitrates. Um, in fact, they've been a little low, if anything, uh, uh, around 30 uh, parts per million. I'm used to them being shooting up to, you know, 100 or more. Um, and I think it's because I have a lot of pretty big plants going here. I have a gigantic squash plant. Um, in fact, uh, you can see here it's, uh, it's flowering. And uh, not only that, but um, you can see there's a uh, squash growing. So that's pretty exciting. We'll see how that goes. I think they really like this uh, LED light. Um, these uh, fruiting plants are doing well. Um, got some broccoli going here. Um, see the, the broccoli sprouts starting to form. So that's good. Uh, my other grow bed's not doing as well. Um, I think part of the problem is I lost two bulbs and uh, I need to replace them so it's actually a little low on light but I have a lot of greens going like parsley. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, so the big thing is um, uh, f you know, fish poop solids were kind of really building up in the sump and um, I uh, always intended to build a filter for that so I plumbed in a, a radial flow filter. Um, the, I guess it's a fairly common design, but I um, sort of mimicked what I saw Rob Bob doing on some of his YouTube videos, and it worked like a charm. Uh, basically went out and got this, uh, I think it's about a 25 gallon uh, container, and um, basically he just cut a five gallon barrel, or a four gallon barrel in this case, um, chopped the bottom out of it, and drop it into uh, into the lid that's cut out and inside there um, I have the, uh, the out solid slip overflow output from the fish tank um, flowing down towards the bottom of this container and then up a little uh, a 90 degree bend and up into a standpipe so it just kind of overflows radial radially um, out the top there, and then uh, any, you know, the overflow water then goes through this pipe uh, over into the sump like normal. Um, and what happens is you drop this in place, and uh, then the, uh, the water that kind of bubbles out the top there flows radially out towards the uh, wall of um, the bucket here, and the solids hit the wall and drop straight down into the bottom and um, collects nicely down there at the bottom and there's a little port at the bottom I put in and uh, so once a week I just open it up from the bottom here and uh, drain it into a bucket and uh, take that bucket out to my garden. And it's got a nice mix of nitrate rich water and uh, fish poop uh, for my garden. Um, and then I also got tired of running a hose for replacement water so I put in a 55 gallon barrel here which I, I fill up from rainwater you know once a month or something and then um, then anytime I need to add supplemental water to the system I can just uh, open the valve there so that's real convenient um, that's about it uh, water chemistry has been really really stable um, basically what have I been running been running at about uh, 6.9 pH and uh, ammonia and nitrites are consistently zero and nitrates around 30 
and uh, the temperature is about 75 degrees. Uh, the fish seem, the tilapia there seem perfectly happy with that. And um, just been adding supplemental iron and potassium carbonate and uh, calcium uh, hydroxide now and then. That seems to be enough. Uh, everything's looking good.